Hello families, it's Ms. Gerber. I hope you had so much fun doing your three-dimensional shapes hunt. If you've done it, if you haven't done it yet, now is a great time to do it. I actually did it around my house and I found a few sample items I wanted to share with you. I found this ball, which is in the shape of a, did you say sphere? Cause that's what it is, a sphere. And I found another sphere this line is also a sphere. Now I found, I bet a lot of families have these around the house these days. We used to have this in our classroom. What do you call this shape? And here's a smaller one as an example. This is called a cylinder. Yes, it's a cylinder. Good job. So I have my spheres. I have my cylinders. I was able to find, this was kind of one of the harder shapes for me to find, but I found, what do you think this kind of looks like? What was I trying to find here? I was kind of trying to find a cone. Yeah, and it's not perfect, but I'm just being flexible about it because I'm at my house, not in the classroom, so I have to do my best with what I have. I also found here, what shape is this? I wonder if I can trick people a little bit. Some people might say that this looks kind of like a cube, but it's not. It's actually a rectangular prism, a rectangular prism. And I did find a cube. How can we tell that this is a cube? Because all of its faces, all of its faces, these flat parts, are all squares. There's one square face, two square face, three square face, four square faces, five square faces, and oops, six square faces. Do any of my other shapes also have square faces that you remember? Take a thinking moment. I'll hold them up again. Yes, this one has one square face. Does it have any more? It has one right back here two square faces. If one of your shapes has square faces, can you do what I'm doing? And I'm gonna put them in a pile together. Both of those square face shapes are gonna go together. Now, what about, ooh, I know. What about how many corners does this rectangular prism have? How many corners does it have? Remember, a corner is where all of the edges come together. Can you make a corner with your fingers? Yeah, a corner. Here's one corner and here's another corner. One, two, three, four, no, five, six, seven, eight. Eight corners on here. Now, I have a question for you. Do you remember the math word for corners? The corners can also be called a vertex. Corners and vertex, two words that mean the same thing. And there's eight corners or vertices on this rectangular prism. And you know what? Same thing on my cube. So I'm gonna keep them together. I think they're really similar. They belong together. How many vertices or corners are there on this sphere? I think it might be zero. Go ahead and look at your sphere that you collected and see if it's also zero for you. Hmm. So we've talked about the faces. What shape is the face on this cylinder? A circle. The faces. We've talked about the corners or vertices. Wait a sec, I'm not feeling any corners or vertex on this cylinder. 
nor this one. But they are on the rectangular prism and on the cube. Hmm. So maybe all my things with the vertices are going to go over here, vertexes, and all of my things without them will go over here. That's how I might sort these to start with. But now I want to look at the faces. And maybe I'm looking for things with circular faces. I can sort these so many different ways. Go ahead and take out your objects that you found and you can sort them by vertex, which is the same word as corner, vertex or corners, edges, and faces. See what you can make and send me pictures so I can guess how you sorted them. Have fun, my friends.